All right, greetings. This is just going to be a quick short video to show you how to install Visual Studio. This is a bare bones, uh, bare minimum requirements setup for using C++ or developing in C++ uh, on a Windows machine. Right now, this machine, I just literally configured. It's a brand new Windows 11 installation, uh, education edition. And the only thing I've installed on here aside from security updates and app updates is uh, Camtasia, which is being used to record this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is just open up a PowerShell. And I think what I'll do is make the font a little bit bigger. So it'll be easier to see what I'm doing. That looks good. All right, and so there's a program called WinGet. Uh, you may have to install it. You can just get online and search for how to install WinGet. That's W-I-N-G-E-T on your system. I believe it's just um, included with the app installer that you can download from the Microsoft Store. Anyways, I'm going to do a search first for what it is I want to install. You can see there are quite a bit here. Uh, I'm going to go with a big fancy one called um, Enterprise Edition version 2022. Um, you could probably actually for this one, I think I'm just going to go with. No, I think I'll go with the Enterprise Edition. Uh, as a student, um, as a faculty member, I get access to this for free. So I'm just going to grab this ID here. Actually, I'll just type it out. I can type and I'll do win get install. Microsoft.visualstudio.2022.enterprise. Go for the gold, right? And I would imagine that this is going to go fairly quickly because the installer is very small. It's installing the rest of the stuff that takes a while. I also don't have a very fast internet connection, so this may seem slower than what you may experience on campus or in your own home or apartment. All right, it's downloaded and installed. Wait for this installer to finish up. And there's our installer. And it is now downloading. Visual Studio Enterprise. And then later on we can go in there and customize what exactly it is that we want to include in our IDE. I'm just going to pause this while this is downloading. Alright, so the packages have all downloaded and the installation has taken place. It's finishing up here. Hopefully the finishing up is not the part that takes a while. I'll hang on here, maybe I'll pause again in a second. I'm going to pause until this changes. Alright, it's finished. The window has disappeared. Let's see what happened. Well, we can see on uh, PowerShell that the package was successfully installed. And if we look on our start menu now, we should have Visual Studio 2022. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm going to sign in with my credentials. I'll use my Authenticator app to approve this. Good to go there. And now, pause this while this takes a few minutes. And now Visual Studio is up and running. Now let's see here. What I do, what I do want to do is just simply close this at this point. And I'm going to take a look at the installer again. And make sure that I have the tools that I need for this class properly installed. So we'll modify. And then what I need to get down to is let's see here. Desktop development with C. And so I'm going to just pick, I'm just going to go with the defaults that were selected when I selected this little button. And it says total space requires 8 gig. So I'm going to click modify. Yes, and I'll pause again while this is downloading and installing notes. Alrighty, so the installation is done. That took quite a while, but uh, it's okay. I'll pause the video. So it's been successfully installed. It recommends rebooting soon to clean up any of the remaining files. Okay, so um, before I do that, I just want to look at what we have installed already, or what we just installed, and it was. Um, this stuff over here and really uh, I, I don't think that I need anything else uh, this should suffice so we'll just close this and then close this and I will uh, end this video on installing Visual Studio and create another short video on um, other tools that we can install using WinGet um, and how we might use them all together in this course.